y compris. Hello everybody, this is uh, I am Tatiana from Switzerland. Everybody knows me, I think. <laughs> I will come and see you in Taibi next September. And uh, for now, I will show you how to paint uh, some uh, tulips because it's uh, spring and we have a lot of uh, tulips in the garden. So I did a lot of different time, uh, different plates like this, or I did a big bowl with tulips and all around. This is all the colors that I have. Uh, we need to do this kind of uh, decor. And um, I did something more like this. And then I will show you step by step how to do it. I hope you will have some questions. And uh, let's begin when you want. OK, so I, for the moment, I have a lot of decals. You know that uh, everybody knows that I have uh, done my own decals. Decals, it's, uh, it's something like this, a paper that I have draw, and then I have a print on the paper decal. So everybody knows how to use it, but it's good to, uh, to see again one time how to do it. So, you choose the tulip you want, the flower. You cut it just all around. You don't need to be very precise. You just go and have a, a flower. Now we need water. So I take some water. I put some water in a little bowl and then I put the decals inside. I put the decals for 15 seconds, sometimes something like that. And you see the little um, motif will get out of the paper. And then we take it in the right side. You never put it like this, but always the same side. And then you just put it where you want, on the porcelain. You can even put it on the side and anywhere. And then once you have decided where to put it, you can just do it like this, or maybe we put it here, we don't know. When you decide, you take the little smooth and we take off the bubbles. I prefer to take some paper. And then you take off the water. You take off the bubbles. And once you have done your decor, then you put it in the oven for um, I think it's 015 in USA. Here it's 820 degrees. Well, once it's fired, this I put it back over there. Once it's fired, you take off from the oven. Then it's, uh, the, the motif is fixed. Okay, then we can paint it. So now I will show you how to mix the colors. The color I choose for these uh, tulips, it's a bois de rose, it's wooden rose. And then I, I will show you how to mix one color. I use some fat oil. Fat oil, like this. So I mix one color. Ah, voila, it's a French word, huh? we use it always. I, maybe I put it here, I don't know if there is too much sun, but okay, now we use fat oil. I mix the color, 
to have something very fat, not oily. If you put too much oil, it, it will chip off in the, in the kiln. Then we mix slowly, slowly the color. Okay. Ah, now we have a mixture very strong. You see, when you take it from the palette knife, it doesn't fall down. I just add a little bit like this. So when you have your color, it doesn't fall down. Of course, you cannot paint with this kind of a uh, color. So we need to add some lavender. Aspic. Okay. Now I add some aspic. And then we have a color perfect to paint. Okay. I have to do it slowly. Now I don't want to do it too liquid. The, the, the hardest thing to do is to have the three color exactly the same uh, density. Now I will close this because my bottles are high and I will put it down. I take the same products in an, another kind of jar. This is lavender because we need only lavender after after mixing the, the color. I don't need any more fat oil. So I will do another color. It's the burgundy. Burgundy and intense purple. So I have mixed already and I have put them in a little jar. So I don't have to mix all the color every time. So this is burgundy. I just take some already all mix and I will take some intensive purple already mix up. Okay. If it's too fat, I just add some aspic. Never add fat oil. Okay, now I have my three colors ready for painting. So, I will take a big brush. I use a lot. No, 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 no. I use this kind of brush, very thin and pointy. And then I will begin with the petals behind. So I take my three colors. One, the, the lightest one, the second one, and the third one. So I have the three colors on my brush. And then I begin, I think uh, here, I begin with the petal behind and I take another uh, little bit here to be darker. Okay, do you see uh, well or not? Hello. <laughs> We're doing great. Right. Doing great. We can say yes. Yes. Okay. So now I do the turn back. Now I'll do a little light. Like this. 
Okay. Now I do the one behind. Uh, and then I will put some darker on the little size here. Okay. You see that we see the three colors, huh? It's not all mixed and not only one color. Now I will do the big one here. Now it's more. So I take some of this, some of this, and some of the dark. I never begin from up. I always begin from the side here. Okay. Okay. You see the three colors? Okay. Now I do the other side. You see better like this? Voilà, là on est bien. Voilà. C'est bien, là. good. Up, up. Okay, I have put my colors. Now here it needs some more light. So I put my brush in the aspic. Aspic, it's the lavender. I take off the color and I uh, dry it. So my brush is dry and I can do the colors like this. Up, up. I take off the color it, it makes the light now i do the stem here in the middle now i think i can add a little bit color here we can always add add up this and here up a little hair Okay. Oh my God, a little hair. Okay. It's coming, it's coming. And now the biggest one. So I will take a bigger brush. So it's more easy when the brush is a little bit bigger. Always the same kind, my sand brush. I take some of this some of this and some of this. And I begin here, not from up, a little bit more down. And I go, I just follow the, um, the, the trace, the, the pencil that I draw, just to follow, to do the petal up. I take some more. Two, three, and I will begin here. Up, up, up. Okay. The other side. Up, 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 up. So I have put all the colors. Now I will do the light. Up. I'll do the light here to see that the up. Sorry, there is a hair here, and just make some more light. Okay, and here. Okay, now I will add some color because it needs some more contrast. I will do 
a little more in here. And in here. Okay. Now, when I have put the colors a little bit out from the, the design, I take some cotton like this and a little uh, Mikado. And I do my own toothpick with cotton with very short and it's very uh, more easy to take off the color than to do it with the wipeout because the wipeout take up, push the color, but this erase the color. So I use this for taking off. Okay, now there is another, another one in here. It's a little bit more difficult because it's just right on the, on the side. So I will do the other way. This up, up. Okay, I take off the color and then just at the turn back. I take the other one up, up, and up. Oops, this is not easy to do it on the side, but. We can do it up. Oops. So I want to show you something, how to take the color on the brush, because this is very important. How we take the color on the brush. It's la, la. Et voilà. Ok. Alors, when I take the color on the brush, I take it with this one, I clean it. We take always the lightest color. I put color on all the brush. And then I take the color on the side, a little bit here and a little bit here if I want to go on the left. So when you put the color, you see you have already uh, the dark color on one side and the lightest on this one. If you want to do the other side, so you take some of this and you take the color dark on the other side. And then when we put it and we do the other side, this, the, the right side will be darkest. So this will, uh, with the practice, uh, you will know where to take the color, or you can even take the color all in the brush and you can put it on the, I don't know the tip of it. So I increase like this and take it like this. So when you put the brush, the dark color will begin. And then after you have the lightest color. Voila, for the tulips. Now I will show you how to paint a little bit the les fougères. I don't know how you say it in, uh, in English. Les fougères, we find this in the forest. So we need to do some green. So I will mix some. Is it okay for everybody? Everybody looks okay. So I take some green olive, uh, yellow green olive. So I have mixed the color before with the, only with the fat oil. So you see, this is too hard. So I eat, add just aspic, never add fat oil. Okay, I mix some of this one. Then I will take another green tender green 
And the green, it's the lightest color. Ah. All the colors, I put them on this side. Eh? This is the tender green, Bordeaux, yellow olive green, and I will do some green, uh, tend, uh, linden green. So I do some here and some linden green. Linden green, where are you? Okay. I didn't uh, do it, but Natasha. it's just a decoration, so it will be okay with Nansaba. Okay, so I think it's not very nice if you put too much color on the on this little um, fougère. You see, it's like it's nice if it's it, it's a little bit light. Okay, so I will take some of this one, this one, and green and green and then we begin here and i just do the beginning up 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 i do again up 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 the other side, so the other side, I take it the other side of the brush. Yeah. I put to everyone, just the beginning, the center. Huh? Yeah. And then I put just some green on the side up up just some green i don't do all the little strokes of course what i like to do is to go quickly to have uh, i cannot stay long 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 on something so i, I try to paint like a, it's a decoration okay so this is with a little bit of paint. If you think that you have too much paint, we can take a sponge and I take off a little bit just with the sponge. So the border, the end, there is a little bit of color, but not too much, okay? To do it very uh, light. Okay, this is for the fougère. Now we are going to paint some uh, stems. The stems, it's nice if you have nice and long stems like this. So I have the same colors. We can add some uh, vert feuillage, a darker color. Okay. Lionel! One, one moment. Telephone, telephone. Okay. So now I have three different green. So I'll take one, two, three, and I take some of the purple, intensive purple. So it gives the darkest uh, green. So I put a lot of here and then I just follow like this. And I do now another stem. But maybe on this one, I cannot show you very well. I will take this one. I will take this one so you see better. Okay, begin again. This and this. Up and up. 
and then up. Maybe I can trace it before. Um, yeah, I will trace a little bit like this to have up, up to go like this up, and then I put here and up. You see the color is liquid enough to do one stroke from up to the other. I begin here and I do the other side. And you have a big step. I do another one. This, this up. And I will do you see it's difficult to do a stroke like this, but if you look at my little finger, it's it lets I use my little finger to trace and not to do like this. So I did some of this, some of green, some of the green, some of the purple, and then I do the other stem. Up, big, 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 voila. So that's important. I do another one to the beginning. Okay, you can use any green you, you like, huh? but it's always nice to have some purple with the green. When you have all the color mixing, it's nice to, to have some degradé shades. Up, voila. I take some of this, some of this, this, and this. You see, I just show you here, when you put the first, the last latest color, it will be the first one. Okay, so this is for the stems. Now, we are going to do some leaves, of course. So for the leaves, I will draw a little bit where to put the leaves. It's nice to have a turn back up and to follow the, the flower. And maybe another like this. Okay, let's do two. Two um, leaves. So I take some of this, some of this, some of this. And then I begin with the turn back and up with one stroke. I have the beginning of the leaf. One like this, like this, like this, up. And I do again thin and fat. And I take it in the other side. Okay. I just do it. Big, bigger here, and then thin. Okay. And up. Voilà, a big stem, a big uh, leaf like this. If you think it's not uh, nice enough, we just take our little uh, cotton and we erase where, where it's not very nice. And here I can do it thinner up. And here I follow up. Here is a stem. 
Add it to here. Voila. Let's look nice like this. And then another one maybe going here. Sometimes, sometimes I draw something, but I never go just on top of what I did draw. It just to, to follow some lines. Okay. And then we go the other side. I put it here. Uh, it's nice if it's going outside of the of the dish. It makes more modern. Something like that. So I have now I will take off the color that is passing through the tulip. And then up. we have all the greens. So now if you have some question, I can uh, answer because we have uh, done the tulip, the, the fougère, and then the leaves. <laughs> If you would like to uh, talk to Taniana about her work and her presentation, you may at this time unmute yourself, but then make sure you mute yourself back again because we want to make sure it's only Tatiana's on the screen. So if you would like to ask her a question, now is the time. Yes, just I put my computer more down now because I have a, up, I just do like that. So you see me better? Yes. Uh, okay. when you painted, yes. Yes, when you painted the tulip, it's very similar to the way we painted the magnolia and Tybee one time. Do you recall? Yes. Of Is it course. very similar to that? It's very similar because it's in, uh, big petals, of course. Right. right. OK. And. Uh, and um, all my all my painting are always the same. I put a lot of, a lot of color and I take off the light and I reinforce the the contrast. But it's always I always paint the same way. Always with fat oil. Always with aspic. Always with a lot a lot of light or a lot of contrast. Okay. Thank you. It's good to see you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hello, Jais. Okay. What I can show you now is how to make the, the little um, grass on the side. Okay. So it, what is nice on this dish is that I did the tulip in the middle. Oops, like this. And then I did a... Uh, Bordeaux, Bordeaux and, and intensive uh, purple, we call it uh, putois here in, uh, in French. So we do like this. We take some uh, scotch tape, or we can take some red resist, okay? To do it round like this, I put red resist around, I put it on the on the wheel, and then I put the red resist and one side and the other side. And after we put the the color, uh, I do it more liquid when it's uh, with uh, when I do it with the sponge, and then I put the color, a lot of color. It can mix the color, it's nice. Okay, we can do the other side. Okay. A lot of color. And this purple is very easy to sponge. I use this little sponge here, and then I just 
put it in here just to have a little bit of color on the sponge. And then we sponge very slowly all around. Not too, too strong, because if you do it too strong, it gets the, the color away. Now here. Okay, all around, all around. Let's take some more. Okay. And then if I have some little hair or something, I take a baby bell. And with the baby bell, I just take a little, um, I do a little tip here, and I will take the, the little hair or something that I don't want up and it take off just the hair that I have. So it doesn't matter for the background. Okay, now I will clean. this, I take a bigger cotton and then I can clean normally I have the tape so I take off the tape but we can even clean up and you see I do a nice round Voila. This is for the pitois, the background. And I do always this kind of background like this. I put some of the different, what I have on my palette, huh? Bois de rose, wooden rose, burgundy, and intensive purple to do this one. And I did it in green. It's even very nice if you have it in green. And uh, well, I did this one with all different colors. I have put some of these. Um, you see, pisanli. How do you say the what we have in the garden? How do you say in English? I don't know. So I put some here, so it makes uh, the, the tulips a little bit more alive. Okay, and I have another kind of, uh, of decals. I have this kind of decals, and I think when I, when I put it on top, it makes a nice design. It makes it mo modern. Okay, I have them in all the colors. So you just get them and you put it on. Okay, that's for the decals. Now to do the herbs, the herbs on the side, I don't take, a, well, we can take a thin, thin brush like this. And we take some of this color, the green, the purple, and then we do up, up. I take all the colors and you do your little grass like this. But what I like, it's even with the big one, I can do it thin the same way because these brush are very thin on the on the edge. So a little bit like this, 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 and up, and I take, and you see that I can do it very thin. And then after you go a little bit more quick to do all the round. Uh, 
Okay. Here we are. I think I did everything. Now I can show you when it dries because the, this kind of mixing with pot oil and aspic, uh, you can paint, paint, but after uh, maybe half an hour, it begins to dry and then you cannot do the, um, the light. So that's why you do, you begin with one leaf and then the others, but never come back on the first one. Okay, you, it's not like American oil. You can always, uh, it's always wet. This dries, so here now I don't touch it. If I want to, 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 do, to outline or to do something that you see, it dries and then you can even touch it, it doesn't move. And sometimes if I want to go very quickly, I just take the hair dryer. So when it dries, you can even put your finger on and continue to paint. Voila, c'est fini. <laughs> can I talk with a question? Yes. Um, the mixed colors in your tubes, are they mixed already with us peak? Uh, I take, you see, when I begin my color, I put only fat oil and I put it inside. Oh, but okay, after, yeah. when I use it, I just recupere this color. So I will put it inside. This even color with aspic has in it. even with aspic. So this color, I know there is aspic, but this, it doesn't matter. When I will take this, I will add always only aspic, never. How long will it last, Tatiana? How long will it last? Two years, three years, I begin. Really? Yes, wow. really, really. All my colors are from two years, three years. No okay. problem. Sometimes okay. there is a little bit the fat coming up, but you mix it and you, you, mix, it again. you mix it again. Another question. Um, the, when you sponge the circle, normally we sponge with MX. Did you use MX or did you use? No. All, I always sponge with uh, fat oil and aspic. Because when it's dry, you can really clean it and, and, and go to the kiln with it. It will not, um, it will be very strong. Okay. It will not, uh, so you when, make it, if I mix, when you do like that, it's it scratch. Do you make it a little more liquidy when you sponge? Yes, it? a little bit more liquid with aspic. Oh, okay. Because Even, we did with you uh, MX with sponging. Yes, you can use a, a mix if you want, but you don't have a shadow. Uh, when you use a mix, it's only fat, uh, flat yeah. color. Not, oh. You cannot do um, light. You cannot do some lights inside. Oh, okay. Because the a mix, it's a little bit different. Oh, okay. Now Man's I can speaking. even do the, the pen work with the, this color. I just add some aspic, I do it very liquid. And I do the pen work with this. Voila. I have another question, I think, here. Merci beaucoup. Bonjour, Bonjour um, Tatiane. Um, I want to know uh, the temperature of the fire. I, so the first fire, it's 820 degrees. I think it's all. 18 or 015, I don't remember now. No, I it's okay. The highest, the mm -hmm. highest. Yeah, and then the second fire. And then the second fire, it's, if it's only colors, always mm -hmm. the same. And when you oh. do the, at the end, when you put some gold, some uh, polished gold, it's uh, lower. The temperature is lower. lower. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. I have a question. Hi, Tatiana. Hello, Marcia. When you do the, the circle inside, you said yes. that you, you put the red resist in the bending wheel? Yes. So you put the, the plate in the bending wheel, put the red resist in your brush, and then 
turn with the uh, or, or is just to make the line that you use no no i to do something in the middle like this uh -huh. i will trace i will trace first with the with the pencil uh -huh. i will do it like this you see okay you you trace it very round like this and if you cannot do it because it's too much inside you take the tournette uh -huh, the wheel, the wheel. Uh -huh. and then you do it on the wheel like this yes but the red resist you do in the bending wheel also yes yes you can do it with the you take a big brush uh -huh. with the red resist and then you put the the resist on here and then you just turn and you do okay. the resist perfect like that. that's very difficult that's not easy no, it's not easy. That was, I think this was the, the worst thing to do. It's yes, that's very difficult. The bending wheel is very difficult. But thank you. I'm going to try. <laughs> okay. No more questions? <laughs> so I, I have the... You used your, brush, your brushes that you used, uh, number three and four? Number three and four, yes, the big ones. Yes, three and four. My son, always long and pointy. So you see, the, they can be very flat. You can you can really do it very like this. You have a very large spread or very thin. <laughs> That's my, that's the only brush I use. I use only this uh, Mycin brush. Yes. The decals, is it your collection? Yes, they are drawn by me. I, I draw the decals and I do them uh, myself. Okay, yes, you great. cannot find them anywhere else. No, I have everything on my website. If you want to look, I am sure you know uh, my website already. <laughs> like the colors. Then it's nice because the the, um, the decals you can put one and one other on top. So you do your own motif, you do your own uh, design, and uh, it's one step that you don't have to do tracing the the flower and that was very long to trace the flower before and for how long do you burn uh, the fire did you say uh, the fire I, I have a big kiln and i have a small one so it it depends of the the the, the, um, the what, if it's a big one it's all the night and if yeah. it's a small kiln it's only no. three or four hours so oh. it depends mm -hmm. okay <laughs> uh, C'est une belle démonstration. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Lina. And I look forward to seeing you I'm in September. Glad to see you soon. Yes, yes, in September. If anybody needs something, uh, I will bring it, of course. No, I cannot bring it. I will send it by mail uh, before. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to be in the border <laughs> thank you Suzanne, for thank arranging you. this beautiful demonstration thank you thank, thank you, you very much Teria. thank you bye 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 bye